is the objective adding and subtracting matrices um, adding and subtracting ma matrices the rule is if I'm adding two matrices or I'm subtracting two matrices both matrices that's the rule and I'm gonna make this over here it means it's important both matrices must be the same size if they're not the same size you cannot add or subtract I'm gonna give you example re really quick up here I have 5 2 3 0 and I'm adding this one with 4 one six and seven okay now i have to check before i add or subtract if it uh, the sizes are the same so the rows always goes first so the row one row two so that's two times column one and two so two by two the first one is always rows the second one is always column then this one is the same one two by two so since I have exactly the same size, I can add. So I will be fine when I add. So here's the addition, five plus four. We just add the corresponding elements. The numbers within these brackets is called elements. The brackets are called matrix. So five plus four is nine. Two plus one is three. 3 plus 6 is 9 and that's 7, 0 plus 7. So that's my resulting matrices and that's my answer. Now, um, we also should have opposite matrices. Op opposite matrices have opposite signs, like every corresponding element should have opposite signs. For example, I have, let me say the example number two. It says I have three, negative five, negative two, and six. This is my matrix, matrix and I have the corresponding is negative three. That one is positive five, that's positive two, that's negative six. So you can check the corresponding matrices are opposite signs when that's the case then it's called the opposite matrices both of them are opposite matrices opposite matrices okay we also should be able to know the properties so we also have matrices uh, properties the first properties like associative property associative property Associated property, for example, if I have matrix A uh, plus matrix B plus matrix C, it's the same order, equal, it's going to go the same order, A, B plus C. Then I have a parenthesis here and that parenthesis moved to that one. So moving the parenthesis means that's your associative property. Second, commutative property. That's something that I tell my students to remember. Associated property, move the parenthesis commutative property commutative when it will be like a plus b equal b plus a like i'm changing the position of the matrix that's commutative property the third one is identity property identity property it's like identity property you get whether you add you subtract you multiply you're supposed to get the original matrix back like as an answer so i have a, a if i add zero i'm getting the original matrix back that's my identity property of addition like additive identity property if i multiply one with this property uh, matrix then it's going to give me the original back so this is also my multiplication identity property okay now how do we solve equations in a matrix so let me show you how do we do that mm, matrix equations this is going to be for example 
exactly the same thing like we have been doing this since eighth grade um it says like for example i have a uh 2x uh let's not do 2x x plus 3 equal 4 that's my equation so how do we solve the equation we use inverse we subtract 3 both sides and i'm gonna get x equal 1 that's how you solve equations that's exactly what i'm gonna do for the matrix for example this is my matrix a that i don't know and i have plus 12 negative 3 4 in 1 that's my one another matrix equal one five nine six that's my matrix i the question is find the matrix a how do i find is exactly the same thing i'm subtracting this i'm using inverse of this how do we use inverse of this or subtract of this you can just literally do subtract 12 negative 3 4 and 1 and subtract both sides or you can add or change the sign of each one of the element like this is negative 12 this is going to turn 3 positive negative 4 and negative 1 if i do this and i will do the same thing here negative 12 3 negative 4 negative 1 either way is good you do the subtraction sign you don't have to change inside anything any sign and you subtract these two um if i'm adding then i have to change the signs of the every element so that's what it is one is corresponding to negative 12 so what is my answer one is corresponding to negative 12 so my answer is negative 11 then i have uh, 5 and 3 which is adding so 5 plus 3 is 8 9 subtract 4 is 5 good 6 subtract 1 is also 5 so this is my resulting answer that's my answer that's my a matrix so i can say um uh, let's do over here uh, another type of questions that you guys are going to have n minus 1 6 that's my one matrix in negative 19 uh, and m plus 3 then i have plus negative 1 0 6 minus 8 negative 8 equal 10 6 and i have negative 3 and 40 so the question is asking find n and m find n and find m so all we have to do is add these two equal make it equal this and it will give us the n like for example n minus 1 n minus 1 plus negative 1 so that's negative 1 equal 10 so this one is going to give me negative 2 equal 10 add to both sides the inverse n equal 12 so uh, my n is equal 12 we got that how do we find the m the same thing negative 19 uh, i'm sorry not negative 19 i have to find m so i'm going to start with m this one so i got m plus 3 plus negative 8 equal um, 40 corresponding all the corresponding elements so this is going to give me m negative 5 equal 40 plus 5 both sides and it's going to give me m equal 45 so that's the way we can get the how to find m and n and all of that okay let's do one last example for addition um, it's gonna give me for example i have a c uh, matrix 16 9 negative 3 4 0 10 that's my one matrix and i'm adding this is my equation kind of thing uh negative 0 0.5 0 5 negative 3 8 and 14 that's another one so the question is asking find c uh, 12 c 22 in c31 that's what the question is asking to find so i have to solve the c first like i add the matrix uh, all both of matrices i add them and uh, whatever answer i get i'm going to show you what it means so let's add this first before we form, give them the answer 16 plus negative 0 0.5 is going to give me 15.5 9 plus 0 is 9 
negative 3 plus 5 is 2. 0 plus 8 is 8. Uh, 4 subtract 3 is 1. 10 and 14. Um, this is actually negative 10. Negative 10 plus 14 is plus 4. So that's my C matrix, the resulting C matrix. So now let's figure it out what is C12 means. The 12, um, okay, let me erase this here and I'm going to write it down here neat and clean so you would be able to see it. C12. What is C12? One, and the one means row. I told you guys the first one is always row. The second is column. So they are asking what is the value at row, the first row. That's my first row. That's the value. And the second column, the second column, first row. So the answer is 9. Next one, uh, C22. 22 means that's a row, that's a column. So second row, this one, and second, um, I'm sorry, second row, which is this one, second row. A row goes horizontal. So that's a second row and the second column, which is 8. Next one is, uh, what is C31? Again, that's a row, that's a column. So third row in first column is equal 1. So that, that's what all of that stuff means. If you guys have any questions, comment below. I will answer it.